Yeah, you said during the week that you wanted to be smart. Did that go out the window in the first round? Yeah, of course. You know, I got carried away. I wanted to please the fans. You know, I wanted to go toe to toe, and it was working. You know, we were going to toe to toe. He was, I was catching me with punches. He was catching me with punches, and the fans loved it. That's what I did. But then my dad told me to be smart, not to do that, and we started boxing. You said you thought uh, that the left hook or one of the body shots would end it. Uh, but end up being the right <laughs> hand. Uh, were, was that just you, know, you were just trying to set him up with that? Yeah, oh, I was no. trying. You know, the right hand to hurt him. The uppercut hurt him. I was going to go to the body, but you know, oh. the body he's, he's short, so he was going down. He was blocking the body shot, so I said, oh, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna go with the right and the uppercut. Was that a problem that he was short? And it seemed like he was coming in with his head, things like that. He was trying to get him off. Was that like becoming a problem? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, you know, uh, he's shorter, and I, ha I have problems with short people. I don't really like short short people, but you know. I'm gonna work in the gym with a lot of short people and I'm gonna make it easier for me. Uh, Carl Crafton won today, obviously, I don't know if you know. Yeah. So he won today. Uh, is that maybe the next choice for you? You think you can go there next? Of course, you know, he won. Uh, he wants to move up in weight. I'm ready for him, so I, I wanna uh, challenge him. I'm ready for him and to come and fight me. Yeah. Did you see that fight by chance before you got here? Nah, I was just listening to it because, you know, I was in the hotel room and I didn't have show time. I was trying to look, watch it, but I was reading on Twitter and uh, I was listening right there that the Prem the Prem was winning easily. Did you want to fight the way you fought in those first few rounds? Because I noticed that you were kind of fighting yeah. against the ropes. Yeah. No, I think I, I'm gonna do, uh, with them I'm gonna be a smart. I'm gonna do a smarter fight. You know, over here I want to please the fans, but over there against them is more. Uh, it's gonna be more. That fight is gonna be more, so I can't risk nothing. So I'm gonna go out there since the first round. I'm gonna do my with my game plan. And I'm gonna be really smart. No, but with uh, Kiko, oh, yeah. did you feel because you heard him, it kind of changed up how you wanted to fight him? Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, no, I went inside. I heard him inside. So I said, oh, over here, I could finish him really fast. So I said, I'm going to go straight ahead and I'll try to finish him up. And the fans are going to love that because we're, we're going toe to toe. So I said, if I'm going to go right. But he, he's a really strong fighter. He was able to take the punches. And uh, then my dad told me to be smart, not to be dumb and stay there and get those punches. He said, move and box him, that I could win him easily like that. And that's what we did. Yeah, because uh, we were noticing here on press row if either you got tired or you were kind of pacing yourself. Yeah, no, yeah, I was like right there, you know, pacing myself. And in the first round, yeah, I did. Maybe I threw more than I had to. But, you know, we, we got our second one really fast, and then we started doing what we had to do. How close were you to, to finishing in the first round? Dude? I was really close, you know, but he was smart. He, he got a tight guard. I couldn't catch him clearly again. And But, you know, he survived the round, and he came stronger. I wanted to please the fans, you know. Uh, I want to stay there because if we went to war, we make it a war, toe to toe. The fans are what they love, you know. You heard them; they got excited because he was catching me with good punches. I was catching me with good punches. I know it's not smart of me, but you know, I wanted to please the fans. Mexican style, yeah, of course. Yeah, Mexican style. I wanted to please the fans, and that's what I did. Amor en el primer round este me me solté más de lo que debía pensé que lo iba a acabar y se me fue el aire poquito pero lo 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 recuperamos y hicimos lo que teníamos que hacer no tuvimos con buena condición y subimos lo que teníamos que hacer. Leo, at the end of the fight. Yeah, you know I expect him to. You know I expect every fighter to come tough. You know when they get an opportunity against me, I know they're gonna come with everything. And Kiko said it. He said that this was his last opportunity. He, he was going to come with everything. And I expected that. I expected for him to come a, a hard fight. And that's why we trained really hard, too. Do you want yeah. Frampton the most? Uh, I think so. Yeah, you know, he's a tough fighter. He won. He's Right now, he's on the top. He's one of the best. And he wants to move up in weight. So I'm, I'm ready for him. And if not, I'm ready for Lisa Obi, Gary Russell, Alon Mancheco, you know, Cuellar, uh, any of those guys. I'm ready. Hopefully, one of them is my next fight. Leo, at the very end of the fight, sure okay. how tired right. were you when you were throwing, like, 50 million punches there? What's going on through I was tired, but you know, I said, I'm gonna finish him, and I did it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Leo Santa Cruz being whisked away by the commission.